with the cover off, we're going to attempt to close. It's difficult to tell if it's open or closed other than this arm right here. Right now, the breaker is currently open. I've removed the springs from the under voltage release because there's a relay inside that needs to be closed in order to energize that relay and that's that closes upon engine startup of the generator so we're just bypassing that for right now the breaker is currently charged so I am going to come over here I'm going to operate the control switch on the front of the door and go for a close closed now. You can tell because that arm is away from there. I know it's difficult to tell without the indicators to see whether it moved or not. But it did close and the breaker is recharged. So the closing circuit is working just fine on the circuit breaker itself. We can see the anti-pump relay is in good condition. There is a lot of nastiness around this coil but the coil is in good condition and working as intended um, since I cannot energize the under voltage right now I pulled the trip circuit fusing because it would also trip immediately um, because of relays inside that are not in the state they need to be for it to close so I'm going to go ahead and push trip and you'll see contacts will change state that it is currently closed. And now the breaker is open again. It's fully charged. I'm going to go through this again. Come back to the control switch on the door. I'm going to hit turn the switch. closed again and the springs are recharged so if the if the uh, springs on this were currently energized what you would see happen is it would cause the breaker to trip by pulling up and pushing pulling up and pushing up on this device right here One more thing to note here that I should have looked at. This is the anti-pumping relay. So once I turn the control switch, that will energize and that will remain energized until the closed switch contact opens again. So I'm going to try my best to simulate that here. over here all right so I got my hand on the control switch now I reinstalled the springs on the undervolt so it's going to trip free but I'm just going to show that if it trips free and that control switch remains closed that anti-pump relay is going to remain closed the entire time as well My hand is still on the close switch, so that anti-pump relay is still energized, but it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do, and it's not trying to close the breaker again. As soon as I release the control switch, it'll open, and now I can try to attempt to close again. still holding the switch that anti pump is still energized but with that being energized it opens the circuit to the closing coil so that it can't attempt to close again all right I'm going to release the control switch anti pump relay opens <laughs> 